Seth James, semantic uh, image one. My name's Tim Chambers. This is my first time, so please take pity on me. <laughs> anyway, so you might be asking, well, what is semantic image boy? Well, at least that's what most people ask me when I present my talk. You can't see a lot of closer. <laughs> Sorry. semantic image board, blah, 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 blah. I don't like this definition anymore. It was my original, but as I've gone and learned, I've realized that this isn't the best description for it. Rather, to put it succinctly, I believe my semantic image board is simply a modern image board. You might still wonder what that is, and allow me to explain. Well, what's an image board? I believe an image board is simply a forum where images, content, and opinions can be shared quickly and anonymously. And for those of you who are still having trouble grasping this concept, think 4chan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, all right, all right. Or maybe not. Rather, what I want to communicate with by saying image board is basically a forum where there's very, very low barrier to entry. You make a post, you're done. You don't have to make a user account. It's, very, it's even simpler than Reddit. And that's where I think the greatest of its appeal lies. Now, you might think I'm reinventing the wheel, because after all, there is fortune out there. There's a bunch of image boards out there. But as it turns out, they're all running one piece of software. The wheel is square, gentlemen. And what does the wheel look like? It looks like this, Kusiba X. Now, Kusiba X is a very, very robust piece of software, but it hasn't really been updated or modernized in terms of features for quite a while. And under, on the underside, it's even less pretty. It uses tables, it uses iframes. Let's not even get into the back end. So you might be wondering, well, what about 4chan? What about 7chan? What about all those other chans? Well, 4chan has stayed the same for the past five years, and its creator hasn't bothered to do anything with us. In fact, he went on to make this, and it's not doing well. It has nothing to do with image boards, really. Regardless, thus, brings in my definition of modern. What is modern? Well, again, it's not this. <laughs> and if you're wondering what this is, it's basically a guy vomiting uh, web two-point elements on a page. No, but <laughs> remember, as I said, the appeal of image boards is simplicity. In other words, I want, I'm trying to design a piece of software that's simple, functional, and organized. Now, people toss those words around like user-friendly and easy to use, but in my case, it means something, because for one, I'm using Cake PHP. Great suggestion for whoever made it, by the way. Uh, and these are, like, the principles of design I'm following is simplicity, as in I do not want to compromise the benefits of an image board, mainly being the very, very low barrier to entry. At the same time, I want to make it more functional than current existing image boards. What I want, for example, as an example, is allowing users to upload more than one image at once. On most image boards, you can't do that. A little weird. An organization, folksonomic tagging. This is where the semantic component comes in. And for those of you who are wondering what folksonomic tagging is, well, for one, it's more than just tagging. It's in which the community uses an agreed upon standardized set of words to tag its content. Okay, that may sound a little hard to understand. But think about it this way. What if you could find a really good long joke on a form that featured a priest, but not a pedophile, with the phrase, walked into a bar. What if a form allowed for both anonymous posting and user accounts? And for that, we go to my demonstration. Right here. So, this is, how, this is how it looks at the moment. Let me just refresh page. As you can see, uh, each post is listed along with the user replies. As you can see, there's a lot of placeholder content. My apologies. But let's go straight to, let's cut straight to the taste. Type in joke. You get comments, uh, you get comments and user topics involving the word joke. Let's say you want to narrow it down. Type in, oops, type in priests. You get all the jokes involving priests. And I don't like pedophiles, so let's get rid of pedophiles. And type in pedophile. No pedophile. I wish, I wish my, da I wish my data set was a little bit larger so you could really see how these tags come into effect. But regardless. I want, oops, sorry. <laughs> it's tough when you can't actually see it on your monitor. But what I want is, 
also at the same time you can do little custom commands such as less than a thousand characters or greater than a thousand characters, sorry about that. And really, what I'm trying to get at with the search and tagging function is, <coughs> oops, the resolution is a little scurry, but the ability to have as much power as is possible for a user to have without the user being overwhelmed. Thus, the ability to execute any pseudo SQL thing within that search bar. In other words, you can find anything through this form with just that search bar. But let's, let's continue on. So we go straight to the post. Uh, as you can see, uh, hierarchical commenting. As opposed to um, conventional image boards where uh, they're all you know, one reply after each other, each reply creates its own thread conversation, like Reddit. So, for example, let's type in some random text. Add comments, very easy, very simple. And let's add some images. Done deal. Oops, one of them didn't load. That's unfortunate. <laughs> but you might you might be noticing on the side that there are tags, but at the same time you're not allowed to edit those tags. This is what I was trying to bring. This was what I was trying to get at before with folks and the tagging. It's not so much that the community itself tags the content, rather that privileged users or users who've been allowed to tag are allowed to tag the content in order to ensure that people don't vandalize or how do you say accidentally call things call tags that aren't supposed to be tagged. Let's. Let me show you an example. So I'll log in with my little account, and then I can edit tags. For example, whoops. so this cat thing, this cat thing post right here, I'll type in cat, add tag. There we go. Go up to search. Oh, uh, bada bing, bada boom. Now, let's get back to my presentation because at the moment it's still very much in alpha. Now you might be thinking, hasn't this been done before? Well, yes it has, and in other words, I'm stealing concepts from places like Donguru, Reddit, Stack Overflow, or across the web. But at the same time, I feel like a lot of these concepts, even though they put forward these really great concepts, they haven't brought them together. And that's what I'm trying to do with my image board concept, combine them into one greater whole. And that being said, you probably want to know what my goals are, because I've just been prowling on and on. Anyway. My goal is to build a working, usable, and secure form engine for any web in administrator to install and then use. So that being said, right now I'm in task one, create a feature set, which basically means explore new concepts and implement said concept. Number two, get user feedback. Oh boy. <laughs> People have not been kind so far. Uh, number three, go back, fix what is broken. Four, create a GUI for administration. And five, release. And then there's six, which is support, but I don't know why I need to think about that right now. <laughs> so maybe one day Arcos can use it. Because after all, Arcos is right now running Google Groups form software. And I'm not sure if everyone knows this, but Google Groups is slowly going down the toilet. Like they're slowly taking away more and more features. And they're going to axe it, like say Google Bug. So it'd be nice to see my software being used by the people who funded me to begin with, but regardless. What, when I said concepts before, I, allow me to explain. I mean things that will enhance or build upon what I'm currently working on. For example, more comprehensive tagging. What if a tag could have parent elements? Like for example, uh, when you type in the word chicken, it also looks up mammal or animal. Something along the lines of that. And then user accounts with privileges. Right now, uh, the user accounts are rather bare bones. They don't really have, they, you, don't, you can't really do it. So it'd be really interesting to see what, like, how I can integrate user accounts with an anonymous uh, community. And perhaps even wiki integration, such that if you mouse over a tag, you get a description of its contents or what it's related to. So that being said, there's tons of neat things for me to do, way too many things for me to do. And that's partially the reason why I'm considering changing my name, because in today's web, there's not just images, there's tons of content, music, PDFs, documents. So really, I'm thinking, perhaps the best idea would be to name it to something like <laughs> a content board. But of course, that's all I'm 
far future, and right now I'm concentrating on what I'm working on. Anywho, thank you, Morthy and Arcos, for your time and your support. Oh, and uh, thank you for the oatmeal for that little webcomic you saw before. And with that, question time. Hmm? With regards to the uh, comprehensive uh, package, uh, will there be something at the back end that will intelligently say, oh, so chicken is a mammal because uh, I've seen like so many uh, posts that sit a couple of like open source projects, like Reddit is open source, so you could just take the Reddit source code and it's, um, so the idea behind one of these image boards, I don't know, I'm not a, I don't know what the kids use with this 4chan stuff, <laughs> is it, um, is the idea that there's no authentication? Is that the? Uh, the well, uh, basically what I was saying before, like, if you notice, like, uh, when I was commenting, like, there was, like, Maybe I'll have a capture in there to prevent like machines from abusing the service, but it's basically like go in there, post, get out. Or go in there, upload a bunch of images, get out. Like the the big thing like the big one of the big like cultural things behind image boards which makes them really, really cool is that like there's not a lot of inbreeding. Like the community members like aren't extremely insular. Like you could be a complete newbie and just walk in there. As long as you're not an idiot, it'll be fine. Like everyone's anonymous. Oh, actually, wait, re I, I, I'm sorry, I didn't reply to the first part of your question. Uh, the reason why I'm not using Reddit is because this, I'm tr designing this software for maybe a thousand person community, and Reddit is really meant for like really, really large communities. Like, I can think of no current software installation, like besides Reddit itself, that uses <coughs> Reddit's architecture. Just because it's a little bit too much for what I'm planning. And you? I was just going to say, there are. somewhat successful attempts to gamify that kind of association um, by like AI researchers. Um, you might want to look into some of those because then you can turn it into a game. Game That's actually gamify the associations. And you can use it as a capture too, right? Yeah, e capture yeah. that's what they do. So they should e capture the guy and do it carnival and Search terms you're using like a, a pseudo SQL stuff. Yeah, right? that's what I was saying. And also, I saw on the bottom there for at least one of the things it showed the uh, the query generated. Mm. See, how are you putting those together? Uh, Kate PHP actually does it automatically. Well, I mean, it doesn't really do it automatically. I have to like muck around and stuff, but like it sort of simplifies the process. Like I'm doing a bunch of joins and stuff in the background, mm -hmm. but like it. Uh, do you use Kate PHP at all? Or? No, but um, I'm I'm actually it. It brings joy to my heart that you're using a framework that insulates you from the uh, from the terrible SQL practices that vanilla PHP has. <laughs> yeah, it certainly made my life a lot less. So it, it's doing something like prepared statements behind the scenes, right? Yeah, basically. Okay, that's good. Uh, yeah, like, this is actually, like, one of the, like, for example,
example, what Gamburu does, it, it doesn't have like this parent tag system just yet. It, in fact, they only have like this flat level tag system, and that works well enough. It's just that I'm I'm wondering if I if I can do a parent tag system without making it too complicated, such that like you know any user can join, become privileged, and then like figure out how these things work, and then implement it, and then any user who's viewing the content can use these parent tags to navigate the website more easily. So it's not just a question of implementing it and making it functional, but also a question of making it user friendly. So that's the big thing. Uh, I, I think the, the whole idea with the tagging and the hierarchical comments would be really cool to, to as you say, like have a parent tag be the higher be the parent comment tags. So you can have your tags, you know, percolate through the comment trees. Mm. So that, you know, if a lot of people, you know, have cats and then people respond to cats images with more cats images, then you know that if you're gonna search for cats, you're gonna go for all like the awful cats or whatever. So mm. <laughs> uh, yeah, that definitely makes sense. Um, you 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 because <laughs> you you just add thought. Um, I'm just gonna. You brought up Google Groups. Um, one of the big, one of the big upsides that Google Groups does have is that it can effectively act like a command list to people who use it, uh, sort of from that aspect. Um, did you plan to implement anything like that? I know image boards are sort of, uh, sort of a different beast, but that's that's true. But that sounds like an interesting feature I'd like in my image board too, like being able to get like constant, maybe like not even just as an RSS feed, but like a mail in, a mail in list definitely. Yeah, yeah just mail. But like, uh, for example, what I didn't show, but I haven't implemented yet, is like tag history, and then like there'd be a web, uh, like a portal or like an update center for the latest tags, you know, to discourage vandalism, to ensure like the tags aren't being broken or being wiped or being blanked. Like you know, definitely like as you said, like security and not just security, but ensuring proper tagging is extremely important. Just out of curiosity. What is wrong with having permanent tags? Uh, actually, uh, no, 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 you bring up a great point, because that's another thing I wanted to talk about, but I didn't have time in my presentation. But, like, uh, there's there's also this concept of, like, not just parent tag, but, like, privilege tag. For example, like, I was thinking that every uh, post that gets submitted to the general board gets a general tag, and you need a certain level of privilege to be able to remove or edit that general tag. So like varying levels of privileges for the taggers, I think would mm -hmm. answer your question. Absolutely. And you? Are you planning on uh, having all the data being persistent, like a Reddit model, or would threads be uh, replaying over time? That's something I'd leave up. All off of um, that's something I'd leave up to the website administrator. Like currently, I'm working, you know, where I don't delete all my data every single time I start the application. But like, is, is there a way to toggle? Not yet, but when I make the GUI administration pages, definitely. Um, any more questions? Okay, thank you.